Welcome back everyone. In this video I'm going to show you a couple options for filling the holes from the screws in this rocker panel that I glued up. The main thing you have to look at, you want something that's corrosion resistant, we want something that's waterproof. So I'm going to show you two different ways that I do it. We want to bevel these edges on all these holes. Kind of like the same way that the seam has a bevel to it. So I'm just going to use a quarter inch bit in my drill and just drill into this top layer just to put a little bevel in there. Okay, you can see that. What I'm going to do, these three holes I'm going to fill with the bonding adhesive and these three I'm going to solder. So let me get some glue mixed up and what I'm going to do here, instead of wasting a tip to pump all the glue through it, I'm just going to squeeze some out of the gun, mix it up and put it in with a little applicator. And I want to put this on kind of heavy. That way when I scrape the top off where it stays gummy, be nice and hard, flush with the top of those holes. Okay, and I'm gonna let that dry up before I start soldering on here. All right, the glue is set up. It's pretty gummy and sticky on top. I'll scrape some of this off. And then I'll take a grinder to it. Now this glue works good for sealing these holes up because it doesn't absorb any moisture. It's going to seal the back side when it oozes through. And I've seen guys just go over these holes with Bondo. I think Bondo would absorb some moisture. It's probably not the best choice. But I've worked on vehicles where somebody's had holes and stuff and they filled it with Bondo. Didn't look like it really rusted on the back side, but I've never done it that way. I like something that's sealed up good that's waterproof. <laughs> All right, that worked good, and you can just barely feel those. Actually, primer surfacer would probably fill that over without even having to put any Bondo over it. What I should have done here, when I glued this up, I wiped all the excess off to clean around those screws. Most of the adhesive come out of the seam. Once I had everything cleaned up around there, I should have taken the adhesive while it was still in the gun and taking the tip and just run a bead and fill this in and then just let it dry. That way I come in, scrape the gumminess off the top and grind it. It would have been probably completely flat, but I didn't do it. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. All right, when I solder these shut, I wanna make sure I get enough solder to run down to get both layers so it plugs the hole up completely all the way through. And this is something you don't want to take a welder to. It'd be real tempting, just take your MIG welder and hit these. You're going to burn that glue joint out of there. It's probably not going to weld because of the glue will burn in there. You'll get a bunch of porosity, but you'll also destroy the bond. Depends how big that heat affected zone gets but I would imagine these holes would overlap from the heat and it would completely burn that glue out of there. Okay, I wanna make sure my tip is cleaned up. I'll just take a scotch bright to it. At the end of this video, I'll put up the link to a video I have on soldering. A little more, it'll go quite a bit into detail, talk about what I use and how everything works. This is just a Weller soldering gun, Model D550 and some acid core plumber solder. I want to put a little solder on here. It's called tinning. Get that hot. Make sure all that solder is stuck down in that bevel. And then put some in and just puddle it in there. Okay, and you need to wash this off with some water to get that flux off of there. When 
Let me hit it with the grinder and we'll see how it looks. Okay, they all look good. Everything is filled in nice and flush. The reason I like using solder, once this joint glues up and you remove your screws, you have to put glue back in here and then let that sit up a while before you can finish it. And with the solder, once you pull your screws out, you can solder it up, you grind it off, and you're done. You're ready for a little filler, primer, whatever you need to do. All right, so a pretty simple process to fill these holes in. That's the easiest part of splicing this rocker panel together. But like I said, I like soldering just because it's a little bit quicker and you're, you're done with the job a little sooner. You're not waiting on glue to dry. The glue's easier and you can fill in any seams if you want. So those are my two choices to fill these in. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up, and remember, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.